what's going on ladies and gentlemen it's games over here bringing you some fuse gameplay on the playstation 3 and this is of course the demo that was released on tuesday and i've played a couple of games in this i think i played two or three and i think you know i've got enough i i I'd say that i've got i've actually played enough to actually give my my full opinion on the game because of course if you you know if you watch the trailers and if you were to see some gameplay like from my channel of the game you would see a good a good amount of dislikes a lot of people are disliking the game for the fact that you know, Insomniac's developing it, and they're not. It's not, you know, really up to par for Insomniac's expectations. Because of course, Insomniac did give us the the great Resistance series, the phenomenal Ratchet and Clank series. They're they're known for making great games, and seeing them make, you know, a game that really appears generic as this on the on the peripheral, it really is kind of like, it really is kind of disappointing to see that you know they're not doing anything creative you know for with the fact that they're making something new that they're not you know sticking to ratchet and clank or resistance anymore they're making something new and a lot of people were disappointed for the fact that you know it's not as creative as people would have liked but so you know i've got it in my hands on the demo and i really i played you know two or three games i think it was three sorry i played three games and i really do and um as far as right now goes as far as you know what i've played what i've seen you know i played as uh, two characters i played as the guy uh, I played twice as the guy that you're seeing right now, and I played once as the guy with the crossbow, and um, I, you know, and they both pretty much play uh, very similar. It's not you know, it's not very distinctive where in which you know one guy plays uh, completely differently than than the other. I mean, the only exception would be the chick with the sniper, but um, I haven't even played as her though, so I wouldn't know. But you know, as far as the guy with the crossbow and the guy and the guy I'm playing with right now, no, they they play very similar. Uh, very similar. It's nothing. It's not. It's not a big dramatic gameplay change. Now, as far as the gameplay goes, it is your conventional third-person shooter, but Insomniac does tweak uh, tweak things here and there in order to make it feel unique and different from, you know, from other from other third-person shooters. And one of the things they did is that um, basically each character, while each character uh, does essentially play the same, you know, there's not much distinction between the two of them. But the, the difference that they each have would be their kind of like their special weapon, I would say. For example, I played as two guys again, one with the crossbow and one with this, uh, and the other guy, the guy that you're watching right now, he has kind of like um, a weird little gun that actually just um, kind of just extends out a shield around him, not around him, but in front, but in front of him. And if you were to press R1 or RB, it kind of like shocks, it kind of shocks the person in front of him. I'm not sure if it shocks him or anything, but it does deal damage. And that's um, and that's basically each uh, that's basically his uh, specific uh, distinction between everyone else. Everyone else has something different, and I think um, you know it's not much, but it is something, and it does um, it doesn't feel forced. I'll say that. And Insomniac really emphasizes on co-op in this game, and I'll give them this. This is a really well-made co-op game. This is a co-op game at its finest. And basically, um, to give an example of this is uh, in this in the demo mission at least. There's this one scene where there are two robots, you know, shooting at us. And what we would do is we would get two people to shoot at the robots from the front, and then you know the the other two would flank them and shoot them in the back, which is where their weak spot was, and we'd be able to defeat the robots a lot easier. And that's basically how the demo, uh, what, uh, how the demo was. If if a team, if you and your teammates were to work together, then it would be a lot easier. Basically, if you just run and gun this game, it you know you'll still be able to pass it, but it'll be it'll be a lot more difficult than than it would if you would actually work with your teammates well. And um, that's basically what I really liked about this game. This game, you know, Insomniac really should be commended uh, for this because this is a really well-made co-op game. I never really played with the AI. I think the only time I played with the AI in this game was for like the first five minutes of uh, of the first game. But you know, someone would just come in and join uh, join the matchmaking progress and take over the AI. But that's the, that's really the only time I played with the AI. And you know, what's really I, I think another thing I should mention about this game is that the characters in this game are actually are really well developed I should say that um they you know they each have their own distinctive personality and they're actually friends with each other you know and they, and they give um they give each other you know some smart aleck remarks you know in a, in a friendly way and um ah <clears throat> good god I'm so sorry I'm I'm you know I'm under, I'm a little under the weather but yeah they, they each have their own distinctive personalities and it seems that they're going to be friends right at least from the demo that's what I saw I saw that they were actually you know they had some good personalities behind them and they were really they were really actually uh, developed well these characters but I'm not sure if that's going to carry on the full game. So, in a nutshell, my my thoughts on the game. It, I, I really do think that it's got a great co-op. I think the graphics are amazing. The graphics in this game are phenomenal. And um, and I think the gameplay, you know, the gameplay is basically your run-of-the-mill third-person shooter. It's nothing special. But at the same time, it's nothing that, you know, it's not boring to the point where you just don't want to play this game. I recommend you play this game before you make an assumption. But 
you know it does have its tweaks here and there in order to you know in order to make it you know different from other third person shooters but it's not much but in the, and as far as the characters go the characters really do seem like um they'll have a lot of personality behind them but you know and in regards to the story i really have no idea what the story here is i think you know before there was a mission briefing before the mission started i didn't really pay attention to it so i can't i can't vouch for any of that but that's about it for this video guys thanks for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and i really do recommend that you download fuse um uh, and really test it out because a lot of people are, uh, on the internet are giving this game crap because you know for the fact that it's an insomniac game and it's not as creative as people would uh, would want them want, would want it to be and also because um, you know this game was originally going to be titled uh, a game called Overstrike and it was actually going to be it was going to kind of be like Team Fortress 2 you know comedy uh, it's comedy style but they changed it to Fuse and now a lot of people are mad because this game just looks really generic and. You know, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's generic, it does have its own kind of flavor to it, but at the same time, it's not as creative as we're used to from Insomniac, but, again, I really do recommend that you would download the demo, test it out for yourself, I, I'm enjoying the demo, I, I don't love the demo, but I really do like it, and I, um, and I'll probably look into this game more and see if I'll buy it, but, that's it for now, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and see ya.